We have the Four of Swords coming out first. Let me get something here with the Four of Swords. We have the Eight of Pentacles. This could be somebody that's at rest or at peace or, I mean, peace. They're at peace or they're healing or their work is very healing. Let me get something here. Four of Swords and Eight of Pentacles. Let me get something. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Something here is increasing. Somebody here. I'm getting a very healing energy from this, this Four of Swords. This is usually like mental healing, mental peace, mental like rest. Okay. Like when you're not in danger, basically. Something's not in danger. Something is growing. Something is healing. Something is, is getting better. Okay. It could even been somebody that went through surgery. Well, somebody had a good ass surgeon. Okay. We got the seven of swords now. What's going on here now? Let me get something here. What is the seven of sword? And then we have the wheel of fortune. Wow. That's very interesting for the seven of swords to lead to the wheel of fortune. It looks like something done behind the scenes or something done in a very cunning way or somebody was very smart here perhaps maybe not to say anything or maybe not to put themselves in harm's way or danger or something like that it looks like okay let me get something here it's like i feel like somebody's trying to prosper off of what you're gaining because i it went from the eight of pentacles to the nine and i feel like somebody's at rest but and I think that's why somebody's doing this because maybe they feel like you're not paying attention or you're not looking at something and they're trying to prosper off of your fortune that's happening. Let me get something here. Also something with Jupiter or Sagittarius. We got the two of swords here. Okay, let me get something with the two of swords. I really feel like this is a person that thinks you don't know something or you can't see something or, oh my God, yeah, they know. It's the nine of swords here. The nine of swords here. I don't think somebody made the right choice because the two of sword to me, this is a card of like choice or somebody trying to figure out the best decision or somebody trying to find the truth. Right. But notice it's a sword pointing in each direction. Right. And it's between the wheel of fortune and the nine of sword, the nine of sword being the last card. So somebody did not make the right decision here. Somebody it's how can I say this? It's like just because somebody's not around. OK, I'm going to say it like this because that's so nasty. Just because somebody's not around, that's not okay. It's not okay for you to go in the work refrigerator and eat their food just because nobody's going to find out. It's not okay to let your dog just shit everywhere and not pick it up just because nobody's looking. It's something where they feel like because you're not looking, it won't hurt nobody or what you won't, what you don't know won't hurt you. That's the most bullshit thing that somebody could say. Let me get something here. We have the King of Pentacles. That's why they, they think you won't mind. You're the King of Pentacles. You got plenty. You got enough. You got enough to share. You got enough for them to take. You know what I'm saying? Let me get something here. I don't know. We have the, the Knight of Cups energy here. Okay. And somebody's very loving. Somebody leads with the heart. Somebody has their heart in their work. Okay. Somebody is not worried. Somebody is at peace. All of these things are true. But because somebody's at peace and they're not worried, this is like invitation for some conniving person. <sighs> well, the, I, I was just about to say they the one that made the mistake. They made a big mistake here. And then you got the death card here. OK, something transforming. Let me get something here or something ending for someone. Let me get something here. We have the three of Pentacles. Yeah, taking something from your work. And I had just posted about this um, the other day. I had just posted about this and it's coming out here, but okay, let me see something here. We have the four of cups energy here with the wheel of fortune. This person really thinks you would not like you wouldn't see it or you wouldn't find out. This is also like somebody that I don't know, like I don't feel like they're in a good headspace or a good position or something like that. The Wheel of Fortune, but the, then the Four of Cups, that's not somebody that's seeing the blessing, if you get what I'm saying. Like, Wheel of Fortune, is, that's like if somebody won a lottery and they're like, oh my God, are you excited? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> it's just the energy, okay? You gotta, you gotta take it how it resonates. That's the energy of this. That is the energy of this. 
Like that shit don't even, I see the seven of sword and then the three of pentacles, right? So it's like somebody did something behind another person's back or they stole something or they're being strategic in something, right? But like, they're not even happy in it. Like, like, what is it? Like, did you steal the wrong thing? Like, what is it? It's some, it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It's like, you can still, still, still. And it's not, it's like, it's not doing anything. It's not making somebody happy. It's not fulfilling somebody because they're not making the right choices. Just because you're slick, it doesn't make it the right choice. Just because you're slick. That doesn't make sense to me. That's like a very childish way to think. That's a very childish way to think because nobody's watching. You think it's okay. That really says a lot about somebody. I'm just being honest. I'm being honest. We have the lover's card here. Gemini energy. Let me get something here. Like choosing between people. We got the world card. Yeah, somebody. And it's right here with the nine of swords. It's like somebody has to close out a cycle. Somebody has to stop. Okay, it might, it's something with a partnership or a relationship or another person or something, somebody, you know, there's something here like that. Okay, where this person has to stop doing what the fuck they're doing. Okay, I already know what I'm talking about. But see, the difference is, I don't, how can I say this? I let the cards tell me what's going on. I'm not, you know what, and you know what, I'm trying not to read. I'm trying not to read somebody right now. I'm really trying my best not to read somebody and it's coming up. I just feel it coming up. It's... <laughs> I can go through many things and I will not come to this board and force the cards to make that storyline. I will not do that. I don't care. The other people, I'm not, I, don't, I don't have nothing to do with what they do. But when I come here, I look at the cards to tell me what's going on. And it just so happens that what's on the table right now is actually something that just transpired a few days ago and has been happening for a long time. And it's coming to the board. It's coming to the board. I didn't ask it to come out and I'm not trying to make it because some people, they pull the cards and they just make it. They just make it do what it do. They get a storyline and they just make the cards fit. No, we don't do that over here. We see what spirit is trying to tell us. Okay, we patiently wait for the message over here. But it's coming out here, so hey. It's coming out here. We got the five of cups here. Yes, yeah, disappointment here. Somebody definitely having to walk away. Definitely having to grow here. We have the star. That is an immense amount of healing from the five of cups to the star. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This really seems like what just transpired. Let me get something here with this. We have the ace of cups here. Yeah. This is something that's been renewed. It's like somebody, whoever this is, you can't keep them down. You can't keep them down. It just, this is so crazy. It happens to be resonating like I said, with some shit, because I be noticing that shit. It be people, like, and I've noticed that shit since I've been on YouTube. It's people that they will copy you or they'll, like, go and get inspiration from you. Okay, I get it. But when it's to the point where, like, every day, every day they're taking something, every day they're fucking trying to rework some shit or trying to make some shit fit, every day, it's like, okay, when are you going to learn your lesson? When are you going to learn it? That's not, you got to be real. You cannot, just because somebody does not know you're doing it or, or you think somebody doesn't see you, it does not make it okay. It does not make it okay. And it'd be so blatant. It'd be so blatant that it's it's insulting at that point. And it's like, damn, like, no shame whatsoever. No shame whatsoever. Like, your conscience doesn't tell you that that's fucked up. Your, the consciousness doesn't say, like, hey, maybe you don't want to keep that dog shit out there. You know what I'm saying? Because, <laughs> I mean, some people don't give a fuck. And that's what I'm saying. If you don't give a fuck, maybe it's not your reading. But this is somebody that you're going to give a fuck. Because I see that nine of sword over there with the world card. And you're going to be looking real fucked up. And that's Saturn. And as a matter of fact, let me tell you about Saturn. Saturn is in Pisces right now. And Pisces is the last sign. So if you have nothing to surrender in Pisces, if you have nothing to surrender, okay? Because Pisces is about surrendering to go back to the first sign. If you have nothing to surrender, the universe has nothing to give you back. So you need to do the right thing. I don't know who the fuck this is, but you need to do the right thing. And stop doing shit just because somebody can't see you or you think they can't see you or you think you won't get caught. It's like, what is that? Like, you turn a camera on, and people start, you know, they'll act different. But if they don't think no camera is there, the true colors, the true colors come out. But turn that camera on, they're going to act real funny. Or tell them that you've seen them. Or tell them you caught them on camera. See how that shit changes. That's what I'm talking about. Think about that shit before you do it. Do the right thing. Shit. Damn. Look at this. The sun card is out here. You see what I'm saying? And I know the person is watching. Shit. <laughs> like, I don't hate you, but you need to stop fucking playing. <laughs> 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 
Like I really, I really don't. It's not, it's not no type of hate, but it's, it's really, it's tiring. It's fucked up. They've done it in every industry that you can think of, every industry you can think of. And there's always a certain point where they say, no, this is not okay. And it's going to happen in tarot land too. That shit's not okay. It's going to happen in the other land too, where people to take, you know, they get inspired by your shit and then they go talking about shit. They ain't never experienced, never been through, never heard of. They go talking about it. Okay. I'm just saying, I'm just being real. Shit. Let me get something here. Let me get something here. And then you got the moon card. Look at that. The sun and the moon came out together after the Ace of Cups. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Five of Cups, the star, the Ace of Cups, the sun, and the moon card. This is a new moon right here. Okay, this could be a new moon and a water sign or something like that. Okay, maybe somebody want to start new, start fresh. Okay, or do something different. Look, a new opportunity, a new day. You get what I'm saying? God gives you chances. Okay? Somebody need to stop with the bullshit, for real, for real. Before Saturn whipped that ass. And that's not a threat for me. Saturn is the one that teaches. And if you don't learn, you don't graduate. It is what it is. We have the Queen of Wands here. Fire sign here. Let me get something here. Yeah, I think they chose the wrong one. <laughs> the Queen of Wands is not a game. You see what I'm saying? You got the Two of Swords here. You got the Lover's card. Like, okay, which, who do I want to try? Who do I want to pick? But they picked the Queen of Wands. I don't think they want to do you got judgment here i don't think mm -mm, i don't think that's a good idea here i don't think it is i think somebody needs to wake up they need to realize that shit has been exposed what was hidden is in the light what you know it's not moonlight no more that shit is sunlight okay it's out you get what i'm saying it's out it's here like let's stop playing i didn't ask for this reading to come to the board this joint came they wanted to address it the spirits wanted to address it because they know i don't mind addressing it but i come and i do my thing i don't come here for all that personal shit i don't got time for none of that but it's out here on the board. So we're going to address it. Let me get something here. We have the Queen of Swords here. Yeah, it really turns somebody angry. Like, I swear, it really feel like this shit is, like, talking to me. It really feels like it because it's the Five of Cups here because I was mad. I'm like, damn, like, I've been noticing that shit from a long time ago. But I was like, you know what? Let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. Because it's, you know, it's whatever. People going to do that shit. And it is what it is. Like, people going to continue doing it after you complain about it. It is what it is. But, like, sometimes that shit gets annoying, I'm trying to tell you. And you got to turn into the Queen of Sword out here. You got to turn into the Queen of Sword. But it's all good, though. It's all good because the transformation was real quick. The transformation is real, real quick. The divine knows what's genuine, what's real. You can't fake that shit. You can fake that shit with people, okay? Because people might not be able to see through the shit where these people be stealing shit and they fucking try to broadcast it as their own. People cannot see through that. Most people can't. But the divine sees through that shit. You're not hiding. The candid camera is on. The camera been on you. It's been on you. Let me get something here. People be thinking they slick, slick. That shit is annoying as fuck. We got the, the magician here. Uh-huh. Let me get something with this magician. Let's see, and this is on the star. We got the full card here. We got a lot of good cards coming out at the bottom after all this bullshit at the top. We got a lot of good energy coming out here. It looks like somebody is starting something over. Okay, somebody's going in another direction or they're taking a leap of faith in a whole other direction or something like that. They might be adding shit. I don't know if this is a business, a store, a company. It's something here that's like changing up or maybe the security is getting better. It's something here like that. Let me get something with this. And then it's also an energy of healing. It's also the energy of like, I said a new chance. I did say that. Like somebody has a new chance to get it right. Like somebody now knows that you got to get that shit together. That's not where it's at. That's not going to help. This is even that kind of energy where it's like, <sighs> my goodness. I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. Because y'all understand what I'm trying to say. We have the five of wands energy here. Uh-huh, some type of competition, some type of ego battle here. Somebody may feel intimidated by your new beginning or something like that. Somebody, you know, I don't know. This could even be somebody talking shit about who you are or something like that with this Queen of Swords. I don't know. Let me get something here. Oh, we got the King of Wands here right here with the Moon card. See, so this person is in competition with you. This person really think that they're slick. Wow. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords energy here. This could be somebody that's stuck in their ways. This could be somebody that's bind, like their third eye is bound or something is bound here because this is on top of this queen of wands here. It's something here that's bound or they're silenced or they can't speak or they feel like they can't break out of something or there's something surrounding them. I don't know. We got the page of sword here. Wow. This could be an energy of witnessing something or seeing something happen because of somebody's choices here. Okay. People don't be wanting to listen. They think that shit is okay because they be feeling like they can't get caught. But there are spiritual 
laws okay that if you break them there's consequences and you may think that you keep getting away keep getting away keep getting away i'm telling you that's just gonna kick you in the ass we got the ten of pentacles here <sighs> this person might feel some type of way about that we have the five of swords energy and that's exactly what i just said somebody may really feel some type of way about i don't know if it's family business the amount of money that you're making the the peace that you have i don't know what the hell it is but they feel like oh this won't hurt you or doing this to you won't hurt you. Or stealing from you. Oh, that doesn't hurt you. But look. That shit is toxic as fuck. And people got to do better. Okay. Let me get something here. That shit is not okay. It'll never be okay. That's like being a damn artist. And not even. <sighs> Yo. I don't know what. I don't know about today. Okay. This is a side note. Because I feel like this has something to do with it too. I don't know about today, but like I never heard of any artists, whether they paint, whether they did music. I never heard of any artists from the past not doing their art or not actually producing their art or not actually making that song or painting that picture or like building that. You know, I've never heard of that. I don't know what this is today where people think it's cool or it's the shit to get somebody else to do all of the art and creation. And then you do nothing except broadcast it that's not an artist that's not a creator that's not a leader that's not a ruler your art should be original to you that's what it always has been i don't know what the fuck is going on today but okay let me close that so we have the three of cups here with the full card this is soul tribe energy here maybe somebody going to a new soul tribe yeah what they gonna do when you move your store what they gonna do when you go when you get bigger or something like that and you you do like what they gonna do they gonna keep copying you they gonna keep taking shit what they gonna do or like, for example, if you're an artist, what the fuck would you do if you don't you don't write music, you don't write words, you don't write this? What would you do if everything walked away or everybody walked away? It's somebody here that has to do this shit on their own and stop with the bullshit, stop with the faking, stop with the trying to siphon off of other people's blessings and energy because it's not OK. It's not OK. It's not OK to call yourself an artist, but you're stealing other people's shit not even stealing even taking even if you bought it i don't give a fuck if you did not make it you are not an artist you could have bought it for a million dollars you didn't paint it you didn't write it you didn't produce it you didn't compose it or whatever the fuck you're that's not artists that's not an artist that's not an artist people are blind to that shit that's not art shit picasso painted his shit michelangelo painted his shit bach wrote his shit mozart wrote his shit beethoven wrote his shit <laughs> they even performed their shit you get what i'm saying there's a difference here I don't know what's going on today. Let me get about it this reading. Because it's, it's that, 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 that thief shit, that stealing shit, that you can't be it. So you got to take from somebody else in order to replicate what you're not. Let the real ones be the real ones. Let the originals be the originals. People don't like that shit. Let me get something here. We got the Ace of Pentacles here with this Five of Wands. Okay, yeah, it is some type of, and it's right here with the Five of Wands. It is some type of competition with either what you're getting or what has been handed to you, what has been given to you. And then the Seven of Wands right here is somebody that is defending themselves or may need to defend themselves or may need to protect what it is that's yours. Because you may think that this, you may think it's all, co all good in the hood and shit. You may think it's all good. You may not even be worried, but people do that shit. And you do need to be worried about that shit. You do need to think about that shit. You do need to protect your stuff. Shit, we got the Seven of Cups here. Yeah, with the Eight, look at this shit right here. Tell me, you tell me, okay? The Queen of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. Somebody's delusional, somebody's stuck, somebody cannot see, somebody's third eye is blocked. Somebody's energy is not even what it is. Like somebody feels like they cannot do something or they can't think or they can't be inspired. They don't have no inspiration. They have no connection. It's just so much, so much, so much. So they got to steal. They got to steal, they got to take. But they don't want to be called out for what they are. They're just going to continue doing what they shouldn't be doing. Okay. But when Saturn gets you, let me get something here. We have the two of pentacles here. Yes, taking shit, swapping. Right after I just... I'm about to get up out of this reading. We got the queen of cups here. And it's that same shit that pissed me off. You see how the tower's peeking out? It's that same shit that pissed me off where I said in another reading, like, people be stabbing you in the back, but they will smile. And I really mean that shit. Like, you really got to think about that shit. Like, they will stab you in the back, and it's not a problem until you say something. It's not a problem until you bring it up to, to their attention that they're fucking stabbing you in the back, or they're taking, or they're stealing. Okay? And then they want to act like they're such a loving fucking person. Get the fuck out of here with that. Let me get something here. 
I'm even getting somebody would say they a damn angel. Oh, I'm an angel. Well, angels don't be stealing. You need to stop fucking stealing. Let me get something here. We have expect miracles here. <laughs> yeah, this person leaving somebody to fuck alone. That'll be a miracle. We have courage and bravery. Yes, you better stand up. I'm going to leave this one right here for real. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.